Hello there and welcome to Cosplay Cantina, the first ever episode of uh, this YouTube exclusive on our Beyond the Blast Doors channel. You have a a custom built Jedi lightsaber hilt. Yeah, so basically I was bored over the winter. Uh, I was kind of kind of antsy and everything. And I just happened to stumble upon uh, basically a lightsaber recipe. Okay. And um, it consisted of a, uh, a pop-up singlet... Uh, pop-up sync assembly kit which is what most of this is uh the only tool that i used on this actual uh well i'd say two tools i used a heat gun and a dremel uh the dremel just to do a, just a little bit of cutting mm -hmm. nothing else and then the heat gun to um to attach this plastic piece here and we'll go into depth with that when we actually you know get into uh you know a build here but in general um most of everything you see on here uh, is stuff that I had laying around. I'd say probably a good 85% of what's All these what's pieces on just here. laying around your, your home? Yeah, for, you know, some of the little extra okay. stuff. But I'd say 85% of this lightsaber came just out of that pop-up sync assembly package. Wow. So um, in comparison to the price, this only cost me $15 to do. You built that entire lightsaber hilt for $15? For $15. And the only reason it caught the, the pop-up sink assembly is only, they're like seven bucks at your local hard, hardware store. Mm -hmm. You asked us uh, one day before the cast if we would be interested in, in building a hilt. Yeah. And we were like, uh, yes. So, uh, shall we take a trip to the local hardware store? Let's go. All right, let's check it out. And so it begins. Building a lightsaber hilt. David, are you excited? I'm excited. <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited. It, it seems that uh, Jesse just knows what's going on. This is like fulfilling my third grade dream. Before we get, before we get too far, can we do a name introduction? We got Jesse, we got David, and then we have a wonderful tour guide. What's your, what's your name, man? John. John, John never introduced himself, but John's now a fan of the show. We gave him a business card. It's legit. Jesse, how excited are you? I'm pretty excited. I love, uh, I love sharing cosplay and showing people how to do it, uh, and being able to do it on a, uh, on a budget. Do you want me to carry that bag for you, John? Does it help? It's heavy. Are you sure? <laughs> okay, cool. I feel bad that he's carrying our stuff. Anything else? I don't think we need gloves. Do we need safety gloves? No. I think we're good. No, I got... Okay. See, I was only joking, but Jesse's being like hard on serious right now. What aisle are the Kyber crystals in? I don't think they sell Kyber crystals in Home Depot. Mm -hmm. Did you buy pain and ballast to bleed our crystal with? That's probably in plumbing, isn't it? So this is what we have here. This is a plastic pop-up assembly kit. It's an inch and a quarter. Okay, this is your main body. And there's a lot of good stuff in here to use for building a lightsaber hilt. Very cost efficient. My first one I did was mainly out of stuff just out of this. <laughs> Ten twenty four. Ten twenty four. Yeah. What type of head? It doesn't matter. What color? Down here, you have various pieces of uh, plumbing pipe or PVC pipe. Uh, in here, this is stuff that you could easily cut w with a Dremel to shape. You could fit it over the housing uh, of this uh, pop-up assembly kit just to give it more definition and detail. <laughs> so even stuff like this right here. Okay, this is a gold mine. I mean, these are potentially pommels for the hilt. Okay. So this is something that you would fasten to the bottom of the lightsaber. Look really great. This is something, Dave, you might be interested in because if we're going to try to do an Obi Wan, like one for you, yeah, we might we're going to circle back and look at these because these are something we'll probably try to stick with the chrome ones here. So the next thing we're going to need is friction tape, which is the great thing about friction tape or hockey tape. It's it's like a very cheap way to do a grip. Um, it lasts a long time. It kind of gets a little worn looking fairly easily. And it's a nice touch. So you got your drain, right? <laughs> the plumbing 101. So this we is can't the... do plumbing and, and lightsabers <laughs> in the same go. We gotta pick one of kinda wanna find something like this. Maybe not as expensive. Right here. This will kind of accent it. Let's do Okay, we'll put that. Oh in the bag? Yep. All right, John, thank, thank you very you. much. John, thank you so much, man. Thank you. Oh, that was a weird handshake. That's that's my fault. Oh, there's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys right. get viewers going to have a whiplash on this video? Anything you add on, I mean, some of the metal pieces, the price is going to go up a little bit. But in general, 
you can get a lightsaber hilt, a very basic lightsaber hilt out of just one of these, some epoxy, some glue. We're looking about, you know, the 15 to 20 dollar range. This is everything we need, guys. So that's gonna be a wrap. So let's uh, take a look at the table because now we've added a lot of, of a lot of other stuff. Yes. So what I recognize this because we just bought this, but what, what what do we got going on here? Okay. So first up, this is your. Uh, and we'll have the recipe list for what you need to down do this. Down in the description below. This yeah. will be in the description down below. Mm -hmm. uh, what we have here is a plastic pop-up assembly for a sink. Okay, and this is going to be your basic part of your hilt. Okay, this is what you're going to be attaching everything to and turning it into a lightsaber. And this, this whole package, this thing's gold. You could build, the, you know, you could buy one of these, and as long as you maybe have some epoxy or... I guess even a hot glue gun, okay. uh, friction tape, you could honestly, you could make a very, just very standard, basic looking lightsaber mm -hmm. just out of this. It's incredible. Maybe solder off a few things. But... Yeah. So you're looking at, you know, that $10, $15 mark right. just out of this. It's incredible. Okay. Now, if you're going to go just a little bit of the extra distance here. Now, Dave here, he's planning, he wants a Obi-Wan Kenobi Badly. influenced I'm so excited. Uh, lightsaber. So that's when you get into the various other pieces of hardware. I'm not even sure what this is. This is just something that we've... It's a Steamway, hot stem for Streamway. Uh, it's a 2J 3H. Now, this is an extra piece. This isn't something that, you know, you'd find, you know, just on the basic recipe list. This was something that we handpicked out because we, we think that it will work for the purposes that we need for this build. Uh, various tools of the trade, though. I mean, uh, if it's you're amazing. into doing your... Uh, your potentially a fan film or something... Okay. You can get a, um, a PVC pipe, okay. and these will uh, fit down into the actual lightsaber hilt and secured with a screw. You know, you'd green screen the blade, um, but this is a, a quarter inch coupling. Okay, and this is part of this is going to help hold that blade in place uh, if we decide to go that route with, with this lightsaber build. Uh, here we have a, a plastic tubing uh, just for detailing. This is something that you would. Uh, kind of cut open in shape and it would fit maybe around the grip and everything just to add a little definition. Cool. Uh, and then we've got your various uh, hardware. This is a, uh, a cap nut. You know, these screws in it. So, I mean, a lot, most people have random hardware. Like, if you dig around, you've got a lot of this right. junk, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, even that broken TV remote that you may have tucked away somewhere that for some reason you threw in a box and like, it might come in handy. Well, it's going to come in handy because you can disassemble that. And there's sometimes there's wires and you know small pieces, even the buttons, you know, come in handy and everything. Hmm. Um, of course, you've got Gorilla Epoxy. Um, I use this and then a uh, a combination for just a few of the smaller pieces. Uh, Permatex Super Glue. It's auto bottle grade super super glue. Okay. Uh, that will roughly run you about five five bucks. It, so, so far I'm hearing us up to about $12. Again, if you've got a lot of this stuff on hand like I did, it is mm -hmm. it is cost efficient. Uh, compared to actually, say, going to Saber Forge, and I love Saber Forge. I love getting oh, yeah. and looking the at it. Videos they make are incredible. Um, but, I mean, you're looking at, just for their basic hill, you're looking at $55. And that's before shipping. So, imagine you could build your own for 55 and be fairly close to one of their basic hilts mm. okay now of course or possibly probably, better possibly better depending yeah. on on yourself uh some various tools of the trade we have a heat gun all right that looks okay important. um you got to be careful with these these get super hot this okay. one can get up to a thousand degrees why why do we need it to be that hot okay well this is used to heat up you you carefully heat up plastic with it okay and it basically allows you the shape uh, plastic a little bit okay. um now this one it's got a low and high setting that i got this from walmart it's roughly it's 1999 or was okay. um generally i use it just on low the low setting because you don't need it need it on you know the highest setting but it's great because it allows you to shape uh things like pvc pipe to kind of flex it or bend it out um maybe you made that you know that bend too large so you just heat it up a little bit and shape it to what what you need it to um, the other tool of the trade here, and this is pretty standard for any cosplayer, okay. is a Dremel. I apologize, the cord's all tangled up <laughs> on this one here. Um, but basically, a Dremel with all your various attachments to it, cutting discs, you get a lot. This is, yeah. this is the 
jack of all trades tool for god cosplaying especially when it comes to some of this stuff because you can drill holes you can cut stuff off um and it's fairly user friendly with a steady hand and good to go of course if you're cutting anything this is the most mo most important piece safety okay you need a good pair of safety glasses even when i i wear glasses these are not enough okay Okay, uh, especially if you're cutting plastic. Plastic sometimes, especially PVC, I've discovered, uh, tends to throw up a powder. So even a respirator mask, uh, at the very least a painter's mask. Okay. Uh, because you don't want to breathe that, you know, that junk in. But um, when it comes to, you know, the little bit of cutting that I did on this, it was definitely a smart move to have, you know, the, uh, you know, pair of safety glasses. Anything else on this table that we haven't talked about? Uh, if you want to hand me the Greebly. Yeah. This is a term that knew the David. So this is a piece of an uh, HDMI, uh, not an HDMI cable, but it's off an old monitor cable. Uh -huh. Okay, and we'll just kind of get that up close here. And this is something that you plug into the back of the monitor. Most of this is, honestly, it's useless. Okay. What I'm interested in with this piece is the actual plug-in point. So with a little bit of work, you know, with a utility knife and some pliers, we can pry that apart, and that's something that could be attached you know, to add character to yeah, the side awesome. of the light. Almost way. like a button, maybe? Or... Almost like a button or, you know, kind of a switch. And they kind of, did, you know, if you research lightsaber hilts. This is so cool. Okay, they use bits of calculators yeah. and, and things like that. Okay, this is where this comes from. Like, stuff like this comes from. It's your broken electronics, broken calculator or something. So everything's got a use. Awesome. You kind of become a hoarder a little bit, <laughs> but um, to some degree, but... Again, the piece I'm interested in here is prying that off, separating it, and this would make just a nice detail piece. Yeah. It doesn't have to do anything. It's just there. It's a visual aid. It, it just it adds so much dimension. And, of course, I, for this one that I made, I really enjoyed, uh, when I looked at some of the movie lightsabers, they kind of had like this, this grip. But it was like black with like a hint, like silver in between, and I'm not sure how well we can see this on here. But uh, basically, all you need is you tape off that part. We've got black Krylon spray paint, and then you spray around that, and then very gently with a cloth or a paper towel, is you wipe the outer edge off, and you get that nice hint of silver with black in between, and just to protect it, a little bit of clear coat. And this will this will last a long time. Well, I just can't wait to get all my saber hilt built, and we're not going to be able to do that in this uh, episode. Um, so I guess can you kind of break down what we can look forward to, or what you can be looking forward to uh, in the next little uh, bit that we do? Well, assuming uh, we've got a little bit of modif modification uh, to do uh, with some of these kits, uh, David, Nick, uh, and Dave here, and I, we're going to be putting one of these together, and we're going to be putting an extra one together. Um, for something special. Oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm with the teasers today. Why would that? Why would we have an extra? One I don't just know. To lay around. I don't know. Or does it to lie around? It? Like it could be. Would we keep this extra lightsaber? Possibly. I, okay. don't, I don't know. I don't know. That could be interesting. But uh, <laughs> the thing is, is uh, assuming we have some good weather mm -hmm. and everything, uh, you know, roughly I, we're looking at maybe a two week build time. Awesome. On this, uh, I know that you have got a job, I have a job, and we got to kind of work around schedules, but. Right. As we put this together, we're going to film it, Yep. and we're going to show you guys how to do this, and then you guys will get to see the completed product once we're ready. I'm, I'm excited to do this, to go through this process with you. And so, like Jesse just said, next weekend we are going to record us actually assembling the lightsaber hilt, so be sure you look for part two. This is part one. As Jesse mentioned, we have a complete list of the supplies here down below in the description. You can also find links to our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram pages. And don't forget to check out uh, other videos here on our YouTube page. Be sure to give everything you see a thumbs up, and be sure you subscribe. Jesse, anything before we go? No, that's all I got, uh, Dave, so I'm ready to rock. All right. Well, may the force be with you. This is so cool. I love it. I am a kid in a candy shop right now.